Hi guys, welcome to your reading. So we're going to take a look and find out what your person thought about you the last time they saw you. So keep in mind, it's going to be a general read, so if you pick a pile that's not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile, or you can check out all three, or it just may not be your message in this one, and that's okay because these are general, all right? <laughs> all right guys, use your intuition and take what applies, leave the rest, and I will have timestamps below, and we'll dive in with pile one. Hi pile one, welcome to your reading. All right, so let's take a look and find out what your person was thinking and feeling the last time that they saw you guys. So keep in mind, going to be general. If the first few cards are coming out, they're not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, so we're going to use Animal Spirit. We're just going to kind of see, first of all, we'll do energy check-in. We'll see how your person was viewing you, and then we'll see the mutual energy, and we'll see how you're viewing them, <laughs> okay? Um, help you guys uh, figure out if you pick the right pile, okay, before we go to the tarot. All right, pile one, let's see how your person was viewing you the last time they saw you here. The tiger, okay. And the cobra, oh gosh. All right, pile one, I like this. I like this energy. That tiger is, by the way, the divine feminine in this deck for the animal spirit deck, if you resonate. It's a very intuitive, very just uh, feminine energy here. Gorgeous energy, actually. It does give the high priestess vibe mixed with the empress for me especially with the cobra it's like you guys were uh i don't know i think you kept a little bit in here didn't you and i think it was hard for this person to read you very alluring mysterious um it, it, it was like you know also we got fire energy out here so this is speaking to you guys could be fire signs here but it's also speaking to the, that the last time this person saw you highly attracted to you okay um, they were almost watching. They were fixated on you. I think you were trying to act like you were not fixated on them to some degree here, even though you probably were, right, with the, with the tiger. I think it was kind of held those cards a little close here. All right. All right, what was the mutual between the two of you last time you guys saw each other here? The dragonfly. Yep, there was a little bit of illusion going on. I, I was sensing that here. I think both of you were feeling each other, but there was this element where I think both of you were trying to, uh, again, I'm getting that both of you match each other uh, intellectually here. Okay, I'm not even going to say spiritually yet, so we'll, we'll see their we'll see their cards first. But uh, the dragonfly is air energy, right? So very smart, intelligent, but also can be a master of illusion, right? So I think there was some kind of, on both ends here, you're keeping up, you know, trying to keep the higher ground. Either one or both of you here is what it's speaking to. <laughs> That's what I'm kidding. Uh, with you, Pile One, though, I think this person feels like you can probably see right through them, right? This is very intuitive energy with the Cobra, which, by the way, is like the teacher, you know? Uh, so when we see the Cobra, it means that there are more than likely some sort of lessons here. And I think that you, Pile One, uh, how your person is viewing you is that they're starting to see that you could be some sort of catalyst for their growth here. I mean, clearly the dragonfly, somebody somebody maybe needs to get real here a little bit. Maybe both of you do. So this could be what it's speaking to. Maybe you're waiting for them to to open up to you first. I think you guys are good, right? I think that's how your person is, is viewing you here. All right, Pile One. Let's see how you were viewing them last time you guys saw each other. The lamb. I feel like they were a little quiet here. Um, your person, okay. Both of you, this is what I'm getting here. Patience. You're both you're both playing this little waiting game or something here. I don't know what it, this is. With a cobra, it's kind of that waiting, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to watch you. I'm not going to strike until, you know, it's time. And the lamb, very patient. Uh, also very intuitive, both of you are. Again, I'm getting both of you could be air signs here. You could have heavy air in your chart. So air moons would make sense here for me if this was uh, what's going on. All right, let's get the last one. The horse. Hmm. So this person, how you were viewing them, is normally there was something different here the last time you saw them. It felt like maybe they were trying to, you could tell that they were keeping something up. Like it, it was like not their normal thing. It's like underneath it, they're this horse, but you're like, why are you acting like the lamb? <laughs> so again, both of you were kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't know, Pile One, was this person acting a little different? You could tell. And they were trying to keep it cool, calm, and collected over here and not show you that they're like, you know, 
uh, you felt like they were kind of masking something is what I'm getting. And for them, they felt you intuitively knew something and that's why you were holding back. So I don't know how this applies. This is pretty specific energy here. In fact, I'm going to pull on that dragonfly really quick and let's just see what's going on with this. Whoa, Ten of Cups. What is this? Oh, there's more. Ten of Cups of ju Judgment and the Devil. Okay. So, a pile one. Both of you are like equally into each other here. Both of you are trying to, to keep this. It's Nine of Wands at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, there is. Okay. There's a level, both of you infatuated with each other here okay highly attracted to each other probably more of a spiritual connection i'm just gonna say with the lamb the tiger we you know also you can see these two right here both probably have spiritual gifts you ain't your person here which also the lamb speaks to as well so does the horse so you know um i think for you though pile one your person's viewing you as more of you're more advanced spiritually than they are so they do learn from you but both of you you're you're fixated on each other here and there's a judgment call and it's been a while right with the nine of wands there's the hierophant behind that okay ten of swords four of swords so for some of you i mean this is either going to be somebody that you are with or this is going to be somebody here where both or one of you may be in something else more traditional or you may have you know something else going on here hmm Okay, well, it, it's clear, Pile One. Both of you were fantasizing equally about each other. So very attracted here with the Devil and the Ten of Cups. Okay, and I think that you put up a good front. I think your person did as well. Um, but I think both of you knew at the center of that Devil and the Ten of Cups, there was the judgment, right? And it's been a long time coming. Okay, so it's almost time here. What I'm getting is that both of you kind of knew that it's almost time for that mask to come down. Somebody's got to somebody's got to make that first move here. Somebody's got to break that ice of, you know, uh, whatever this means for you. You know, past person, new person, situationship. I don't know. Clearly, you both want each other, and it's almost time to have that little talk. Okay. All right, pile one. Let's go over the tarot. We're gonna find out now uh, what they were thinking and feeling. By the way, real quick, Pile One, and I just noticed this before we go to the tarot. I, I was just looking at this and it caught my eye. I don't know if you noticed this, but if you thought that your person was like nervous here and wanted to run, because that could also be what this is talking about, because both of you want this and you, they're viewing you as somebody who was like cool, calm, and collected over here. But I think you're viewing them more as somebody who was a little more scared, okay? So maybe they wanted to run. I don't know if you could sense like the... The nervousness, I guess. I mean, it makes sense with that Ten of Cups and the Devil with Judgment. Like, you both know it's coming or something here. So, I don't know. Just throwing that out there because I saw it. So, for some of you, it could be relevant here. All right, let's go to the tarot. All right, Pile One, let's find out a little more in depth here of how your person was thinking and feeling about you the last time they saw you. There he is. There he is. I can't, you know. Mm. Okay, let's keep going. It's the Devil, by the way, and the Emperor. Mm, could be dealing with Aries here. Okay. All right, Pile One. Well, what they were thinking and feeling for you last time that uh, they saw you is clearly they were turned on. <laughs> I, just, I mean, if they tried to mask it here, I think you could tell they were nervous. I think you could tell that they were probably intimidated here. Again, you were coming out as that tiger and the, <laughs> and the cobra. So they're intimidated, but they're also very, very sexually attracted to you here. Okay, what's what's the middle card? <laughs> the Hermit. They tried. Again, look, they tried to keep it all in, right? You know, they don't want to show you. And then they came off as that little lamb and the horse who was just like, oh, I don't know what to say. I'm going to, you know, skedaddle out of here. I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying you make this person nervous. It's, it's kind of that. And uh, I think they did try to hide it. But that devil energy for the first card out, that's pretty hard to hide. So I would be shocked here at Pile 1, if you're resonating with this already, that you didn't pick up on this. Okay. Why is it hurt my ear? Let's see. The Six of Swords and the Five of Cups. Hmm. So for some of you, this person has yet to make a move here. They have yet to pursue this connection with you and whatever, you know, that means to you. Um, and so they are definitely disappointed in themselves. Okay, they want you like so bad here, Pile One. But for whatever reason, it's this Five of Cups, Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Star and the Page of Cups. Yeah, 
they are they're fixated on you here but they don't know how to move forward or something they didn't they just felt a little disappointed is is what i'm getting here because the uh again they're nervous <laughs> the star and the page of cups i mean this person looks at you like a celebrity or something like that this person really very very fixated on you i mean i'm not going to say obsession but it's it's going towards that little line there okay uh yeah, Six of Swords and the Five of Cups. It's almost like this person wishes they would have done something differently. Um, they were just nervous is what it seems like to me here. Pile one. So again, if you're resonating, then you'll you'll probably understand what I'm talking about here. Even the Emperor, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, again, we did have that Tiger energy, which is the, the feminine energy of that deck. So again, if we see the Empress, I won't be surprised. <laughs> What's wrong with the Emperor? Page of Swords. Okay. So they didn't want you to know. This person, whoever this is, Pile One, and I think that you know that this person's, you feel the vibes, right? Uh, they haven't said it yet. This person does a lot of, they're fixated. That's all I can say. Okay. And they don't want you to know that. So that's why they're coming off as, as scared and nervous and, and all that. And they're very, you know, they don't want to say the wrong thing. They don't want to slip up and let you know that they've been watching you. Clearly, they've got their eye on you uh, because they see that you're very intuitive. So, I mean, you'd read right through it. So instead, they just chose to, like, stay quiet, right? So surface level for some of them, if that. Hmm. Okay. What's red with the devil? The king of cups. Pile one. Okay. Well, water sign here, too. Uh cancer scorpio pisces or aries like i was saying or we also have the devil card which is um capricorn energy and the hermit so virgo hmm. well we got a mix all right power either way what i'm saying here is this person is in love with you here okay they hide it for whatever reason and for some of them who knows i mean they may have something going on i don't know they uh they just don't want you to know how fixated they are on you here. So what they were thinking the whole time is like, oh my God, I'm talking to pile one. It's happening. And now what do I say? Because I've been like watching and, you know, all this stuff, right? You can imagine pile one. And then they see you in person and they're just like, you know, they, they act like that little lamb over there and the horse and get nervous and just kind of, huh. All right, wow, specific energy here, pile one. So, mm, let's see the devil, why is he here? Queen of Wands. Okay, pile one, well, <clears throat> yeah, again, what I'm saying here, what they were thinking and feeling was they wanted to jump your bones right then and there, okay? But they couldn't let the cat out of the bag right there and scare you off. You're that divine, feminine, masculine energy over here with the tiger and the, and the cobra, like, you know, they can't just come at you and that, that's going to get them shot down. <laughs> okay. So, so here they are. They're just like hermit over here because clearly they just, hmm. Okay. Well, for a lot of them, they had to go to the bathroom quickly after probably. So if you remember that meeting, I'm sure off they went here soon after. So, you know, it's a timber. The chariot. All right. Yeah, oh, look at all this energy right here. This is nothing but sexual, it just all this. I don't, I mean, you had to know. You had to know, even though we saw that dragonfly energy where both of you were trying to act like this wasn't what was going on. I mean, this person is just, if you are wondering if they're on that same level here as, as being attracted to you as you are to them, because I think it is mutual. Uh, yeah, they're like, they're double. They're probably double what you, what you are, pile one. I'm just, you know, just saying. All right, the hermit, let's see. The three of cups. See, they kept it all in. They wanted to say this. It was probably just right there on the tip of their tongue. I mean, you know, or their pants, whatever. But they didn't, they didn't do it. Hmm. This is three cups. The Eight of Pentacles. I think this person, again, could have skirted around this, even though there was an elephant in the room and, you know, everybody felt that little tension there, right? Um, they tried to probably talk about everything but this, and really the whole time they're just probably can't even keep their train of thought, right? Why they're looking at you t 
talking. All they're thinking about is, you know. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Why is Paige Swords here? Death and Reaper. Yeah. They, it feels like this person wanted that opportunity. And for some of them, after it ended and they, they kind of didn't express this here, it's like they're kicking themselves, you know, because it's really what they wanted here, but it didn't go the way that they planned. So for some of you, maybe they got a little bit of it out, but eh, I'm getting for the majority of you here, they there was stuff left unsaid that they wanted to say, but they didn't. <laughs> okay. Can you go Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person's like, ugh. they're to the point here. There's feelings. There's attraction. I mean, ugh. how much longer can this person hold back is, is what I'm getting here. Um, let me pull on that Three of Cups really quick. Actually, did we just do that? No, let's do that. The Ten of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. And the sun with the three of wands. So for some of you, could work with this person. And that's maybe why, you know, uh, things were left unsaid here. Or this person or you are connected here. And, you know, they didn't... It's like, again, right there on the tip of their tongue. But, you know, really wasn't illuminated here for, for a lot of you. And it's because this nine of swords and the high priestess. Again, this person's like kicking, kicking themselves. I feel like the last time you guys saw them... They were hoping for, I don't know, maybe more confidence, more of an opportunity. So I don't know if there were people around and this person was maybe hoping that you guys could have some time alone and they were going to plan to maybe, I don't know, spit some truths here with the sun. <laughs> Three of Wands, like finally come off the shore and make a move, do something. Um, but again, you know, that I think there was a reason why they didn't do it. So let me see that page of swords. It's like this person's been planning to, again, like what I was saying, it's like they're planning a moment to have a conversation to tell you this, but then they're just, you know, it's the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. <clears throat> huh. Let me pull on this really quick. What are these two? Seven of Cups. It's almost like this person doesn't know what to say to you. You're a little intimidating here. It's kind of what I was getting with the with the tiger and the cobra. Uh, so they want to make sure that when they come forward, they finally say something or this conversation that they've been wanting to have with you. Um, you know, they actually get it down right. Ace of swords, ace of pentacles. I think for some of you, you want the truth from this person and they know that you, they've got to give it to you. Otherwise, you're tired of the surface level stuff because you know it's more than that and they know it's more than that. It's time for an honest conversation here, right? Um, so clearly that was kind of going through their mind there. <laughs> it was like, is now the right time? Should I do it? Should I do it? For some of them, it just, it wasn't the right time. I mean, look, some of you guys could have, could have actually went here with the devil and the queen of wands okay you, you could have done that so i'm not saying that you didn't but uh, this person may have not uh given you all the emotions there afterwards right they they may have capped that conversation right and kept it straight <laughs> this over here so for some not all all right death why are they here the sun yeah this person wants to talk about something uh, they want to talk about they wish they would would have said something more than they did. Okay. For some of them, they bit their lip here. You know, Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. And the truth is, here, is that I think you both know. <laughs> it's more than what it what you guys are, are just casually talking about here. Or however you're doing, you know, your situationship or whatever you want to label it here. Um, there was There's a conversation that I think your person knows needs to be had. And that's kind of what they were thinking about the whole time they were... You know, not looking you up and down over here <laughs> like a, like a big stake here by one. I mean, yeah. Okay, King Cups. Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Mm. Then bottom, we have the Seven of the Wands and the Six of Pentacles here. Page of Swords and the Magician. They're trying to figure out 
something here. Something to tell you. Something to give. A lot of them may not be able to give right at this moment, though, is what I'm getting. Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. It's almost like this person imagines what, what it could be like to be with you. And they do want to give you this Ace of Pentacles. But right now, whatever this is in the in the 3D, it's like... Mm, I think that's why they hold back with that Three of Cups for that conversation just yet. They're not quite ready to have this conversation. So they're fantasizing about it. They're thinking about it. They're actually having to restrain themselves from, you know, saying something here. Uh, because a lot of them feel like it may not be fair to you of the time or the energy, whatever this is that they can give to this connection right now. But we do see the Page of Swords and the Magician. So again, I think this person is trying to figure out a solution to be with you here ultimately pile one um but it does feel for some of you you're not quite there yet ten of wands and the knight of swords and they and they just uh yeah they feel like maybe now's not the right time to tell you what it is that they want to tell you so they they kind of pull back a little bit i'm getting i'm getting the the vibe here with this okay let's see the devil why not Three of Cups, <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Okay, well, for some of you, um, you are this person's sweet escape here, and so when they get to see you here, Pile One, it's like everything. They, they want to tell you everything. They're just, it's like you make their day. But a lot of them have other things here. Okay, obligations, um, stuff like that. That's why we see behind that Queen of Pentacles is the Hanged Man and the Five of Swords. Okay, so what's happening here, Pile One, and I'm just going to say how they were feeling and thinking is that they have this, this King of Cups type of love for you, okay? But they, 3D, are this Emperor, okay? And they are fixated on you, but, you know, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, it feels like uh, the reason why they're in this Nine of Wands, holding all this back, you know, not really telling you guys everything. I mean, you know, they may want you to read between the lines here, right? But um, it's because there's something else here. So they, they're kind of hanged man, five of swords. What do I do? Okay. Yeah, I'm already getting the energy for this, so I don't know, pile one. Um, it can go a couple ways, but there is a heavy layer here about somebody already being a con in a connection and so when they see you clearly i think you can tell that there's way more but they hold back right okay all right what's the emperor let's see the wheel and the, <laughs> the ace of Wands. goodness pile one yeah this person's waiting for they're waiting for the right time to transform this so again it feels like for some of you if you weren't intimate with this person last time that you saw them you know, uh, I think for some of them, they were hoping that it would have gone a little differently that you may could have, uh, but it didn't for a lot of you, I don't think. And this is what they're waiting for now. Okay. So they're trying to figure out, they're trying to figure out another opportunity here for some of you to do that. <laughs> okay. All right. Which one do we not do? Do that queen of wands really quick. Actually, I'm sorry. Let's do the chariot. King of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Ace of Swords. The Lovers and the Page of Wands. Okay. Well, this King of Pentacles is trying to figure out... They were thinking, how do I tell Pile One the truth? How do I transform this connection? Is now the right time? Eh, for some of them, it wasn't. For some of them, they may have... Again, alluded a little more, but the lovers in the page of wands, they definitely just want to jump your bones here, pile one. So if they didn't, it was real hard for this person to, to hold back. <laughs> so, all right. Um, Queen of wands. Let's see. Ten of swords and the four of swords. Seven of swords and the four of pentacles. Okay. Well, I'm just getting... For some of you out there, this last time that you saw this person, it didn't go that great, okay? Um, it could have because this person refused to open up and give you answers here uh, because they felt it was not the right time. For some of you, you could have walked away because, again, they, they held back. 
Five of Wands and the Star. If this is the case, Five of Wands, I'm going to tell you this person is in a ton of regret here. Okay. They literally, they made the wrong choice if that was the case for you. Okay. Page of Cups and the King of Wands, they totally could have been that. They could have just given you surface still, even though you knew there was a lot more there, right? And it just wasn't being said. Um, yeah, for others of you, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, it's almost like you could have told this person that you wanted some more honesty. You wanted them to open up or otherwise it was over. So I don't know. I mean, it just feels like this could also be speaking to the fact too, because I am being I'm being pulled back to the Dragonfly card, uh, which the Queen of Wands can sometimes be the King Queen of Wands wearing the mask, right? So this could be speaking to the fact that I think your person really wanted to put it into that holding back here, you know, because it is turning into the devil energy because nothing's being done about this. They're not they're not voicing their feelings here with you. They're not making a move. It doesn't seem like Care Pile One, and. Uh, that could also be what it's speaking about as well. So, either way. All right, Nine of Wands. The Seven of Wands. Yeah, this person's just tired of holding back. It is, like I said, with that devil energy, it's turning turning a little toxic for them. Okay? The Hermit, the Three of Cups, something needs to be expressed, and you both know it here. So, uh, Four of Cups at the bottom and the Queen of Cups. And I think that this person feels like you may, you know, they question they question themselves because, again, they can't read you as well as you can read them, right? You're you're that white tiger over here uh, with the cobra, and this person is, you know, the lamb, and, um, oh my gosh, what was the other one? It was the lamb, and uh, now I have to go back over here and see because <laughs> I forgot. Oh, the horse, yeah. So, I mean, you're on different, this person definitely sees this, so they do feel... Also, they're just tired of ignoring this connection with you, not not telling you what it is they want to tell you. So honestly, Pi One, the gist of this is here that they want to tell you something, and it feels like a lot of them drop the ball, and they feel like an idiot for that, okay? By the way, the Empress and the Eight of Cups behind that, so hmm, Pi One, this last time that you saw them, you could have been the one that walked away because they failed to say something here, you know? So, um... Wow. Or you're about to. <laughs> I mean, if this person doesn't open up. What I'm getting here is that they, what they're thinking and feeling is that they know they may have dropped the ball here. They may have withheld some stuff that I think both of you knew kind of needed to be discussed. Okay. All right, Pile One. Well, I'm going to leave that here. Pretty specific message. Love to hear if this resonated with you guys out there. Um, and if you guys enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, my loves, I will talk soon. Bye, Pile One. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. All right, let's take a look and find out what your person was thinking and feeling the last time they saw you. So keep in mind, going to be a general read. So if the first few cards are coming out, it's not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, so we're going to do the animal spirit, and we're just going to find out how they were viewing you the last time that you guys saw each other, the mutual energy, and then how you were viewing them. And we'll kind of uh, make sure you pick the right pile here with this, okay? All right, Pile 2. How was your person viewing you last time they saw you? the firefly and the black egg you were very communicative i don't know if you told them about like something that you had going on here with the firefly which is definitely like bright ideas um talking maybe about i don't know stuff that you've got going on like very very talkative black egg is the throat chakra so i don't know if you were trying to get this person maybe to open up or if you guys were just having a lively conversation let's see the mutual hmm. the lamb okay um you know, it's patient. It is also intuitive, very peaceful. So I feel like there was no tension. This was probably a very good conversation that you that you had with this person. <laughs> okay. You may have actually opened their eyes to something. So I don't know if you illuminated something for this person with what it was that you were saying. So it could be a conversation about possibly something spiritual. I mean, the lamb can definitely indicate that here, you know, um, like a knowingness, some sort of inner peace. I don't know. I'm getting a good vibe that, that your person's definitely, they felt at ease. You might have enlightened them here, Pile 2, so I don't know what you said. Let's see. How are you viewing them? The zebra? Okay. I like this. The earthworm. It's like you saw them as somebody who was open-minded here, which is, that's the zebra. And the earthworm is like the student, you know, okay, listen, they're not as advanced as you probably, and I mean, you know, 
whatever it is that you said, they took in though. You're 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 viewing them as somebody here who is uh, open minded and willing to learn. So they they are. If you did talk about some of your beliefs or whatever it was that uh, you know you're passionate about here. This person definitely had that open mind to it. And I think that the energy between the two of you was pretty good. I mean, with the lamb, very like an inner knowing that you guys were just jiving or something. Hmm. All right, pile two. Well, great energy here. It feels like if you're resonating with this pile, um, you guys had a pretty good interaction the last time you saw each other. And I think that your person got a little bit of uh, knowledge here from you. Um, they definitely could have started to open open up more spiritually on a different level. I mean, if you see these cards uh, with the black egg being the one spirit card here for the spread and it's with you, something you said is, is what I'm getting here. So I don't know, pile two. You'll have to let me know in the comments what this was because it feels pretty, pretty specific again. All right, let's go over the tarot if you guys resonate and we'll find out a little more in depth here of um, how your person was thinking and feeling the last time they saw you here, pile two. The two of pentacles the moon okay the three of swords let's see this what is this i was already getting that because we saw the land that there may not have been a lot more uh discussion about feelings maybe it was more spiritual not necessarily about feelings let's see the three of swords okay ten of pentacles <clears throat> three of swords and the seven of pentacles okay queen of pentacles and the wheel um hmm Okay, pile two. Well, you know, I'm going to keep going here because I'm not even going to say anything just yet, but I can already, yeah, I'm picking up the vibes. All right. So if your person is in something or you're in something, clearly I think uh, you gave them some food for thought here during this last interaction, which is clearly why they were thinking about some sort of decision to possibly express something here more along the lines of emotions, right? Three of Swords, so eh. This is either let's uh let's just keep going here, okay? Because we did see the Queen of Pentacles, which can always indicate that. But I'm not gonna speak too soon here. Alright, pile two. Alright, what's wrong with the moon? Seven of Wands. Hmm. I'm gonna pull the last one here. What's red with the two of pentacles? Okay. Eight of Cups. Yeah. Uh Okay, because it feels like you guys did have a great interaction here with with each other here, uh, this feels like what they were thinking and feeling is that they possibly were going to have to make a choice to walk away from something in order to let their guard down with you and express emotions. So pile two, I'm going to say it's a pretty specific message here. So if you're not resonating with this, feel free to definitely take a look at another pile, okay? All right, why is the two of pentacles here? Let's see. The wheel, and we saw that clarifying the three of swords, and the wheel was with that queen of pentacles here. So, um, yeah, I think there's patience involved. I think there's timing involved here. Um, I think, again, the last time they saw you, you gave them something that made them look at things differently. So, you know, I don't know what that was specifically for you guys. They feel like it's time, though. Uh, there's something coming is what I get. So that conversation may have been the initial conversation to get this wheel to turn because if there's a decision here, you know, if somebody has to walk away from something, then that could be it. Okay. For others of you, I am getting, if this is somebody that you were in separation from here, that could be the thing, right? Like, uh, how do we make up for this? And maybe you guys actually had an honest, genuine conversation that really actually shed some light on this three of swords. I don't know. That's going to be for some. Let's see the moon. I was really getting more of the first, the first message here. Yeah. The three of cups. It's, it's like hidden communication here. Clearly, um, a lot was left unsaid. Okay. And I think it is because of it, there's a timing thing going on, right? So probably wasn't the right time to, to dive into the, the depths of the feelings here, but at least you guys, it feels like you did, you had some sort of impact in whatever you said to this person. So you know, again, it's always in divine timing, right? So we can't just jump straight from, you know, start to finish here. We've actually got to go through the steps. I think this conversation for a lot of you was something that may have kickstarted something here with whoever you're dealing with. Three of Swords. Why is it here? 
Page of Pentacles. Mm. Let me see this because it feels like I, I, you know, it feels like they wanted to say more, but they didn't. And now they themselves earn that three of swords. Okay. We can see they held back with the moon and the three of cups um, and the seven of wands, right? Let me pull on that page of pentacles. Let's see. The ace of wands. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, it's the ten of pentacles and the three of swords. So look, pile two going to be probably a specific message for those of you resonating with, uh, you know, there's a ten of pentacles surrounding your person that they're kind of in. This is um, what they wanted here during this last time that they saw you is that ace of wands. Okay. They put themselves in that three of swords because guess what? This is, uh, there's a decision, right? Do I tell, do I open up more? Basically, do I express myself here? What it is that I want? Feels like for a lot of them, they didn't. It was just Page of Pentacles, right? Seven of Wands, the Moon. And the reason being is that Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. So, you know. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to lie. Pretty similar energy to Pile 1. Uh, I think this is a little more straight to the point that there is probably some sort of third influence around this person here. Okay, Seven of Wands. Two of Swords, Crossroads, Decision, like that, that weighs very heavy. Like this is a lot here. I think underneath the surface, if your person was keeping it all cool, it's like they're, they're hiding a lot. A lot was going on. A lot of thoughts <laughs> were happening here. Uh, basically, it was like, when's the right time? Do I tell them now? Um, again, I, I am saying this is pretty similar to Pile One. Okay. Um, yeah, and it just feels like they didn't, they didn't get it all out there. Okay. They were still in this. So... I don't know, for some of you, it feels like, yes, it was a good conversation, but I think both you and your person knew that there was there was more that needed to be said, but for whatever reason, it just wasn't the right time. And like I was saying, it probably has to be done in steps here. Okay, so uh, it, it definitely, it was worth it to have this conversation. So if you guys were hoping for more, you were hoping that was going to be the time where your person just said this, told you what it was that they wanted here with you or express some sort of feelings and it didn't go that way. Maybe you were disappointed, but just know that it was for a reason here. Okay. So something you said did get through and that, and that is, again, what I'm getting here is turning that wheel. See the eight of cups, the devil. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pull on that. What's the devil? the Ten of Cups and the Two of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> the Star, the Page of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Sun. So there is something here where I think this person just... So much confusion. Like, they are at... It feels like when the last time they saw you, it was like, I don't want to walk away. Like, I want to walk towards you, the Ten of Cups. It was like they didn't want to leave you. They didn't want to leave that conversation or that interaction, okay? But uh, they did, and they didn't get out what it was that they wanted to say, <laughs> okay? There's still a decision at hand. So if you're resonating with this pile, then clearly you probably know there's still there's still a choice. Whatever it was the last time you guys saw each other, it didn't it didn't clear that choice up. Choice is still here, right? I feel like this person does have a little more information though because of this conversation for them to work with here when it comes to this two of pentacles. So we're about to find out what this is. What is this? Let's see. It's almost like they fantasize about you, but what if they made this choice and, mm, you know, it just, it wasn't really, I don't know, maybe you didn't want it or it was, maybe it was all in their head. Let's see the two of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. Feels like something I was going to say. Chariot. The knight of cups. Yeah, this person's definitely waited a while to say what say what they need to say here. Okay, John Mayer. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you guys know that song, Say What You Need to Say, uh, it could totally be relevant here because I feel like this is kind of what this is. They've waited. They've wanted to do this. Eh, it feels like they may have dropped the ball, though. All right. Um, need the moon. What's the moon here for? Judgment, right. Judgment time, time to come clean. As I say that, and it's a page of wands that was stuck to it on the back. Yeah, you got to take a bold risk here. And this person's not doing it, okay? And they're breaking their own heart, probably hurting you guys too, because, you, you know, you connect very well with this person. Both of you connect uh, spiritually, 
again, that's what I'm getting with that the animal spirit cards over here, is that there is this mutual into just a knowingness here, and you've opened your person's eyes. You've taught them a lot here with whatever this is that you're talking about to them. So this has not been for, for nothing here, Pile 2. Um, it feels like baby steps, though, whatever this is. I, I don't know how that's going to pertain to you, but they've got to release some fears here if they want to do this. And for some of them, they may have to release something else. I, you know, I don't know. Seven Wands. Four of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and Death. The Hermit. So that was the decision here. Clearly the last time, and what they were thinking and feeling is that they wanted to be honest. They wanted to not be deceptive here. And again, keep you, and stay guarded. And, you know, I, I don't know. It just feels like for you guys, you had, you had a very meaningful conversation, but it just didn't pan out, I think, the way that either one of you wanted here. Okay. What's the wheel? It's the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Wands. This one. The Empress. Okay. Yeah. Well, that is... Um, that's what they're thinking about here. That's the decision is to communicate this. They would have to... does look like for some of them would have to walk away from something. So, you know... If they're not ready to do that, then they are giving that page of pentacles, right? And clearly they want more because there's feelings here. The three of swords would not be here, right? Just wouldn't be here. Um, it's the ace of swords and the lovers. Okay. Pile two, I think you both know it here, what you want. And uh, your person knows that I think they need to make a choice here to communicate something to you. Possibly for some of them to walk away from something here. Regardless, there's a truth. There's a conversation that I think both want to want to have it's something to do about the lovers okay so i'm just saying with the empress you know um the five of cups and the six of swords so both of you are kind of in this little funk i think right now after that conversation because it didn't go quite the way that i think uh both of you wanted to you know and now you're both trying to figure out well how can we move forward from this because i think the feelings are mutual here clearly so i don't know pile two You've given your person something to think about here, though, I will say. And uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if the next time you see them, things start to progress. Now, it could be slower just because we see, I think they've got, you know, there's a reason why they're holding back here, clearly, right? Let's see that three of cups. Six of pentacles and the page of swords. It's almost like they want to give, but they don't even know what to give right now. So they've, they've researched. They don't know, like, how would this work? What do I even say? Strength and the emperor. Yeah. So they, they, they actually have to physically, you know, mentally hold themselves back from saying anything. Yeah. Rocking a hard place for some of them here. Uh, did we do the eight of cups? Let's do the eight of cups again. Even if we did. Let's see. Ten of Swords, right? Well, something. Hmm. What is the you know? What? King of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Cups. Two of Swords and Star. This person feels like they have to choose over something that they already had. I think for some of them, uh, or a faded connection here with you, right? Um. I mean, that's just the easiest way to say it for some of you guys out there. I think. The good majority of you that are still here are probably resonating with that here. So, yeah, it's kind of the energy with that. Um, if it's not, then this is speaking about this person doesn't feel. They may have felt they they really don't have anything to offer you right now, right? Could be all in their head. Again, is what I was kind of getting. Like, do I say it now or should I, for some of them, if they're not connected, build my finances up more? Should I be more stable before I actually spill the beans here with what I want for pile two. Um, let me do that devil again. Tell us more about the devil. I actually almost want to get another deck. It's that eight of cups and the empress. This person is, uh, yeah, five of cups, six of swords, judgment. Look, for some of them here, whatever you said to them, this conversation has really got the wheels turning here about whatever this decision is and um you know they're highly 
<laughs> motivated now to possibly look into other alternatives here in order to be able to come towards you and have more more conversations here with you pile pile two so again whatever you said to them it's it's um kind of sparks something to maybe shed some light on something here on their side that could have been toxic so i don't you know again it's gonna be different for all of them uh five of cups is at the bottom so i'm just you know uh, again, a lot of them too, because they didn't give you any more than the page of Pentacles. this last interaction, you both walked away kind of feeling a little disappointed here. Okay. So another layer. All right. Let's do that two of swords. Justice. Something's coming. I think you both know that. So something's got to level up here. There is a crossroads. There's clearly something that somebody's doing a lot of thinking about here, especially the last time they saw you. I think, again, I'm getting similar energy to pile one, but something about an elephant in the room here, un unaddressed. Ten of wands and the five of swords. As I say at the bottom of the deck, it's unaddressed. Something else needs to be communicated here to balance this connection. <laughs> you know, I think you both, you both know this. <laughs> so if you were feeling it, they were too here, uh, pile two. All right, did we do um, the wheel? Let's see the wheel. The hanged man. Yeah, the limbo state, the decision, right? Something's got to change. They've got to, you know, do something here is what they were thinking and feeling. Like it's, you know, it's right there at the point for some of you guys because we do see the three of swords. So this could be mutual and... Uh, you know, for some of you, Pile 2, you could be in that Eight of Cups energy where you're just going to kind of walk away if this person can't get it together and, and open up. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Well, the, they know what they think and feel about you. There is a level of that fixation for sure. Um, but yeah, it, it just feels like they were they, they wanted to give more here, Pile 2. So if you're resonating with this, then I think you probably know you can maybe sense it here, okay? Wow, Pile 2. All right. Well, that was pretty specific, so I'm going to leave that here today. Um, do hope this resonated and found who it was meant to find here. If so, love to hear from you guys below. And if you guys enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, my loves. Until next time, I will talk soon. Bye, Pile 2. Hi. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. Let's take a look and find out how your person was thinking and feeling about you the last time that they saw you, okay? So keep in mind, going to be general. Um, if the first few cards are coming out, they're not resonating. Feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, Pile 3, let's first find out how your person was viewing you the last time that they saw you guys. The Cobra, okay. And the Hyena. All right, I'm going to pull the mutual energy between the two of you in the last meeting here so we can just see. The Butterfly, huh. Well, I don't know, Pile 3, did something change here because of this last encounter? It feels like something may have... I don't know if you guys talked about something. It feels like this connection transformed, though. This is the mutual. So I don't know. Maybe you guys um, both got on the same page. So maybe you thought that could be what this is speaking to. Um, but with you over here, how they're viewing you is the cobra, the hyena. It's like you guys are keeping a close eye here. Um, also, the fire energy. Okay, so again, very attractive here, pile three. But at the same time, the hyena, you guys probably have a great sense of humor <laughs> okay but there is an element here where you may have um you may have hidden something you know you could have kept that mask up right like i'm not gonna let it all go out i'm gonna wait and see what you do kind of uh the cobra is also seen as like the teacher like it appears when there's a lesson so i don't know if this last encounter here was some sort of mm, catalyst forward in this connection for the both of you here Maybe for you, uh, pile three, it was it was maybe about getting more real, like maybe stop trying to mask the feelings. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, let's keep going, and uh, we'll find out how you are viewing them. Also, with the cobra here, it is this wise um, wise energy, but there's a waiting energy, right? And it, it just feels like your person's viewing you as someone who um, very smart, intelligent, and you're you're kind of not gonna let the guard completely down until something changes right with the butterfly so okay let's see how you're reviewing them uh pile three the whale okay and the horse hmm 
it feels like uh, with this now now again I'm gonna say for some of you this person could be the the more of the runner type here with the horse free spirit right hard to tame um, and I think that could be why you were in this cobra stance where it's like I'm just gonna wait and see what happens here not really gonna reveal too much until I see more from you more depth here with the whale so it's like you guys know that this person has a lot of depth here I mean the whale and the horse beautiful energy how you're viewing them and there is something transformative that happened between the two of you the last time that you saw so maybe you're not aware of this maybe this was on your person's side let's see what the butterfly is talking about here what is this Did, now this could have been for some of you a situationship or a friendship here that maybe after this last meeting changed right the so feelings like you both had something going on by the way it's the nine of wands came out for that butterfly strength and the Hierophant. So I don't know if this person was like, uh, they had the depth, but they just weren't ready for a commitment. And therefore you're over here in that kind of Cobra Hyena energy where you're not going to really kind of, I don't know, with the Nine of Wands and the Butterfly, it feels like this has kind of been a back and forth thing with the two of you for, for a bit. Something though with this last encounter did change something about this. So let's see. I mean, tell me more about what, what changed here. What's the Butterfly? Six of Pentacles. I don't know if this person ended up giving more. You found that this last time it was more balanced here, reciprocated. Hmm. That could have been the issue at hand here too, because I see the 10 of wands and the five of wands at the bottom. So if this was something in the past where this person was in and out, they just, you knew the stuff was there with the whale, but they just were running away from this connection for whatever reason. feels like you got a little more from them or something. Okay. Um, Hmm. All right, Path 3. Well, I'm going to say pretty specific message for, for some of you guys out there. Pretty specific energy. Um, it just feels like I, I think that uh, there's something here in this connection. And it may be moving slower than what it is that you would like. <laughs> but nonetheless, I think your person's on board here. I think something's changed. So I don't know what you said to them here. Uh, but it's kind of like that. Okay, well, if this resonates, we're going to go to the tarot and we're going to find out what your person was um, was thinking and feeling here. All right, for Pile 3, what, what was the person thinking here when they saw Pile 3 last? King of Swords could be done with the air sign. String. <clears throat> Four of Cups. Let's see what that Four of Cups is. Eight of Wands. Page of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah. I so so because you are coming out here in the the Cobra energy uh, with the hyena, this person couldn't get a good read on you. I think they kept it a little more, you know, friendly communication. I mean, Eight of Wands, Page of Cups, only because they're scared that it wasn't going to be reciprocated. Right? You still had some sort of guard up here. Pile three is what it feels like, and so with that, with that Queen of Swords behind the Page of Cups, <laughs> um, you know something shifted here. But I will say, I think your person's still restrained to some degree, right? Um, I think it's almost like too with that whale and the horse. You you can sense that this person wants to maybe talk. They want to go. They want to to show you more depth here, <clears throat> but they do hold back, right? Um, because they're scared. So some of them, you, you could view them as like, you know that they want more, <clears throat> they're capable of more, but maybe they, they just have a tendency to run, you know. What's row with string? Why is it here? <clears throat> Seven of Wands. Wow. This person really tried to, to match you here, Pile 3, because I think they were viewing you as that cobra, as as the hyena, and they were trying to, to match as well. Um but under the surface, I mean, we can clearly see how hard it was for them to restrain. And it, and what it comes from is this kind of fear of rejection. So, rub with the King of Swords. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, this is a new beginning that this person has been thinking about. <clears throat> so, again, I don't know if this was the interaction that, that changed this. Because that definitely could have. They could have um, realized that they need to give more to this connection. Okay, they could have realized that uh, what they were giving to you in the past wasn't nearly enough. Okay, and that that could be why we also see the Four of Cups where they're in like this regret. Like, oh, why did I shortchange Pile 3 here in the past? What, what was I thinking? You know, 
<clears throat> so I think it got them thinking about a, a new beginning, right? But they are still seven of wands strength. They they tried to hold back. Okay, King of Swords. <clears throat> King of Cups. Wow. Well, we got water and air out here, so you could be dealing with either one of those signs. But um, they're thinking, they're trying to think logically here for this person. But again, like we know where we saw the whale, right? The King of Cups. It's under there. So it this kind of this kind of coincides with I think the the animal cards that we did get. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like this person wants to make sure that this offer is good, and because they couldn't really get a good read on you um, last time that they saw you here. Pile three, I think maybe they restrain themselves out of fear of rejection. So, <clears throat> all right, strength card. Hanged man, yeah. Oh, sorry guys. <clears throat> yeah, the hanged man, and this is why because they they couldn't read you. So they're they're like you know. What what really here does pile three want? Uh, when in reality, I think both of you wanted something to change here with this connection, right? With the butterfly, it's the mutual. So, you know, makes sense. Yeah, really what I'm getting here is that it was, it was like head over heart for this person, right? Uh, because the feelings are there. Clearly we, we know that with the whale. <laughs> okay. And I think you could tell, but, but at the same time, you may be, you may be matching each other here. So maybe, you know, <laughs> oh, it was kind of that. And I think your person right here, they had to hold back. They had to, I don't know. I, I am sensing that for whoever this is, there is some sort of regret. Maybe there was a missed opportunity in the past between the two of you that has that has put you in that cobra and the, the hyena energy here when it comes to interacting with this person. So if that's the case for you, Pile 3, then they, they're aware of it. And I think that was uh, heavy on their mind here. All right, Four of Cups the tower like i said it can go a couple ways here with this but it feels like if they if they let you down in the past that is that transformative energy here it's like this person had a realization you know they may have short changed you in the past here pile three and that's why they're viewing you now as in that cobra energy right where you're just pausing you're waiting not gonna really open up all the way until this person can come to this connection correctly so, see that tower. <clears throat> Justice, King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Knight of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it feels like this person knows that they should have given more to you in the past or something like that. They should have taken more action in the past. And so, you know, if they didn't do that this last time that they saw you, that's why we see that butterfly energy. That's why we see the tower is because there was some sort of realization. Um, you know, I don't know. For some of you, when you saw this person, you may have kept it like, uh, I'm good. You know, I'm not going to. That could have been the catalyst here for this person to actually have to go within, you know, with that whale. Um yeah, whatever I'm getting here is, is there something here about a missed opportunity? So whether this was this last time that you guys saw each other or this was a previous time where they let you down because they didn't, they didn't do anything. Hmm. All right. See that seven of wands. Why is it here? The nine of swords. So, so yeah, they, they're in their head. Yeah, I don't know. There was confusion. <laughs> they, they feel like, again, like I said, they may have done something here um, <clears throat> in the past is, is really what I'm, I'm getting. They're um, nervous. They're nervous around you, too. And again, there's this fear of rejection here. If they say the wrong thing, there's also, for a lot of you, just this <clears throat> thing of, I, I let pile three down in the past. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Temperance. Hmm. <clears throat> I think it's tied to that butterfly energy here, to be honest. Um, what what this is, it's like this person realized, I think, in the last time that they saw you that uh, they're disappointed in themselves over here for whatever reason, whether this be not taking a chance or blowing a chance here with you in the past. They want this. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. It was right there. You know, they, they had some sort of realization because <clears throat> logically this may not make sense for them, but there, there are feelings here. So... You know, it may take them some time. And they, they could have held off from telling you what it was that they actually wanted here. 
But again, something has changed with this person. So, <laughs> um, all right, let's do that seven of wands. <clears throat> the strength card. I mean, we can't make this up. This person just five of wands and the queen of cups. They had a, um, <clears throat> They had an internal conflict about expressing feelings here with you. They wanted to give more. You, Pile 3, clearly saw that there was more under the surface, right? And you could probably tell. Um, but because of this internal conflict, I think that this person tried to keep their composure here. Um, a lot in order to match you. Okay, so uh, you make this person nervous. Like I said, these feelings here, I don't think they are typical <clears throat> for your person to have. Um, and again, that's why we saw the butterfly, because something here about this last encounter may have done something to shift this person's perspective about the situation here. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands behind that, by the way. So uh, they had to restrain themselves. They tried to. Okay, very drawn to you guys. Um, but yes, there's there's an intimidation thing here. All right, Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. <clears throat> and the Empress. Yeah, so you guys are sitting pretty over here, right? They uh, they now see your value. So this last time that you guys saw saw one another, again, if, if they didn't acknowledge this in the past, it was like, uh, <laughs> it was like a spotlight on this of who you were. And again, that could have really put them in this place of having a tower right at that moment here when you saw them. I mean, it really is, for me, it's tied to that transformation. It's almost like an epiphany moment here. Um, either this person, again, like I said, dropped the ball in the past with you, or they haven't made a move yet. So it's going to be one of the two. It's got to be. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Cups. Mm. They're trying to temper themselves because they know that you deserve more here. You're wanting more uh, from them. So I don't know if you guys have talked about what it is that each one is wanting here. They know what you're looking for. They they may have a tendency, like I said, this is giving me that horse energy. It's the Knight of Wands at the bottom, okay, and the Nine of Cups. So that has a very self-serving energy, okay? Thing is here, though, if that's how they were operating in the past with you, Pile 3, they're aware and now they're coming from a different place. So they are, they did have to restrain themselves, it feels like, for a lot of you, because it's not the right time. You know, it wasn't the right time for them, but clearly, whatever this interaction was, it has started to lead to some sort of tower transformation within this person. Okay. King of Swords, let's see. Let's see that King of Swords here. <clears throat> Four of Wands, so again, it ties us to that Ace of Pentacles. There's something here about a more solid commitment where I don't know if this person didn't wanted to do that in the past. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, and this could have been what, um, what happened here. Why this person feels in so much regret over this, whatever this tower was with the Four of Cups. So, you know, for some of you, they just weren't at a spot to have a relationship in the past, they're seeing that it hurt you guys a lot. Mm. Okay, I'm. you know, we're gonna keep going here because I wanna see what that King of Cups is. The Knight of Swords, okay. Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Something about feelings. Like I said, Pile 3, you know this person has these feelings, but they keep them down. They run from the feelings. It's how you're viewing them here. With the whale and the horse, it's like, yeah, I run from the feelings. I don't give, even though the feelings are here. Yeah. It's it's sabotage -y stuff, and I think that your person, that's the epiphany moment that they had here in the last in the last uh, time that you saw them. Something clicked with this person as to what it was that they, they've been doing here in this connection. Hey, man. The devil in the Six of Cups. This person, you, you could have been doing this for a while. This could be something from their past as well. Some sort of attachment from their past that keeps them stuck, that keeps them guarded, that keeps them in their head about what it is they want here. King of Cups, bottom, and the Two of Cups. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, that was the transformative stuff here is because I think at this last interaction with you, they realized that they had this attachment that, that really wasn't serving anybody. I mean, it wasn't serving you guys, not serving them. Uh, the King of Cups and the Two of Cups because there's a lot of feelings here, you know? It's, this person, to some degree, is kind of feeling like a moron for past behaviors. Uh, again, and it's kind of what they were thinking and feeling at the time that they saw you guys. It's like a lot of them had these epiphanies of how they let this toxic mindset, behavior, whatever this was here um, from their past, influence the direction of this connection. Okay. Let's see the Nine of Swords. The High Priestess. Yeah, they're trying to keep it. They're trying to keep it quiet here. You know, again, I think they are trying to match you, but at the same time, um, they are going through some sort of, like I said, epiphany here <laughs> oh, with with past actions or either missed opportunities because of their silence here with you, Pile Three. So it can go a couple ways. All right, I'm gonna do that Four of Cups again, just because. Um, I know we did that initially, but being called back. Tell us more about the Four of Cups. It's Eight of Wands. And I, I didn't we get that for It's interesting. The Tower and the Star. Uh, they're regretful here. Something, there, there was change. I don't know if you guys said something to this person, maybe. Uh... The tower is breaking down the old, with the star directly behind that, I mean, in the bottom of this deck, after the eight of wands. There's something here that they didn't say that they should have said, okay? This could be this last time that they saw you, or they were reminiscing and thinking about this from the past. Let me see, let me see the star. The lovers. Mm. You, okay, this, this connection here, pile three, has changed this person, and I think they realized that the last time that they saw you. It's like an epiphany. That is what I keep getting, you know? And for a lot of them, highly disappointed in themselves for their behavior is what I keep getting here. So I don't know, pile three, if you said something to this person to make them reflect. Whatever it is, whatever, however this went here, it made them look at it from a different perspective is all I can say. So, um, wow. I don't know. This seems like you could have been a catalyst for this person. So it's going to be different for everybody, but I'm just kind of getting, um, because you do view them as, as the whale, but also the horse, it's like you viewing them as somebody who has the depth, but they're scared to really tap into that. Whatever this last interaction, the last time they saw you guys, you did something here, Pile 3. Something was said, something was realized where it shifted this person's perspective. Like I said, if they were scared of this before, they're still in the process. But right now, <clears throat> they're feeling both, okay? They're trying to think logically, but yet the feelings, all that, it's there. So, wow, Pile 3, I'm going to leave it here. This was real specific, and I would love to hear if this resonated with anybody out there. Um, and if you guys enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, my loves, I will talk soon. Bye, Pile 3.